endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty using a mixed tooth grasping forceps as an alternative to the tissue helix. Dr. Maselli and Dr. McGowan disclosed consulting work with Boston Scientific. The remaining authors have no disclosures to report. The endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty uses full thickness endoscopic suturing to shorten and narrow the stomach along the greater curve into a sleeve-like construct. Traditionally, a full thickness fold of tissue is acquired by rotating a tissue helix into the gastric wall which is then retracted to the endoscope and secured with a needle and suture. Given the length of the helix and the thickness of the gastric wall, this technique risks transmural tissue injury, which may result in pain, perigastric leak, and injury to extragastric structures. Mixed tooth grasping forceps, which can acquire full thickness gastric folds without risking transmural injury, provides a safer alternative to the tissue helix for creating the ESG. A 59-year-old woman with class 1 obesity presented to an ambulatory surgical center for elective endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty. The patient had a past medical history of prediabetes and hypercholesterolemia with a surgical history of cholecystectomy. The patient had a height of 62 inches, weight of 181 pounds, and BMI of 33.1. The endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty, when performed with an over-the-scope suturing system, uses a tissue helix via the accessory endoscope channel to acquire gastric tissue. The tissue helix provides efficient capture of the gastric wall, assisting with full thickness suturing. However, it has known disadvantages. Foremost, the operator may inadvertently overdrive the helix in a transmural fashion, leading to potential perforation penetration through sensitive structures like the peritoneum or capture of extra gastric structures such as the omentum, spleen, or gallbladder. In most instances, these events are not readily identified and can lead to delayed complications. A mixed tooth grasper represents an alternative to the helix. The grasper with its combined rat tooth and alligator tooth design effectively secures gastric tissue without transmural penetration reducing the likelihood of full thickness injury and extragastric tissue involvement. As such, patients may experience less pain and decreased risk of adverse events. The ESG procedure commences at the level of the incisura. The mucosa is firmly grasped and pulled toward the endoscope, allowing for full thickness suture placement. This process is repeated every 0.5 to 1 cm from the anterior to posterior aspects of the greater curve. Note that care is taken to always open and close the grasping forceps beyond the suturing system to avoid entrapping the grasper within the suturing tower. Here we see placement of the third stitch, followed by the fourth stitch, and ultimately the fifth and final stitch. At all times, the needle is driven perpendicular to the gastric tissue, ensuring a full thickness bite. This will complete a straight, running suture to provide a sturdy distal aspect to the ESG construct. Once the posterior wall is reached, the needle anchor is dropped and the suture is tightly cinched and cut. The second suture begins just anterior and proximal to the first suture. This suture will follow a traditional U-shaped pattern, in contrast to the straight running pattern of suture number one. The initial aspects of the U are placed as close to or within the previously sutured area. Here the grasping forceps facilitates easy capture of gastric tissue, allowing for full thickness bites. This process is repeated until the posterior wall is reached. After the posterior Mohs bite is taken, the suture then follows proximally, forming the flat base of the U. Suturing then resumes in an anterior running fashion with approximately 1 to 2 centimeters of space between the sides of the U. Note that the grasper may be firmly pressed against the gastric wall without fear of penetration or perforation. The needle path is also positioned to avoid suture looping within the tissue. The final bite is taken proximal to the initial suture bite at approximately the same level 
completing a U-shaped pattern. The needle anchor is then dropped and the suture is tightly cinched. The third suture again commences anterior and proximal to the previous suture. The third suture will follow a straight running pattern with the goal of reinforcing the sleeve. Here the grasping forceps offers the ability to grab the raised folds within the previously sutured area, which would not be feasible with a tissue helix. The result is a strongly reinforced suture line without gaps which contributes to sleeve tightness and durability. This process is repeated until the posterior wall is reached, at which point the suture is cinched. The alternating U and straight pattern is then repeated to the level of the GE junction. Here we see the final sleeve construct after placement of 9 total sutures over 47 minutes. A small fundus cap is left untouched. The sleeve is uniform in width, tightly sutured and without visible gaps. The stomach caliber is significantly reduced and the overall length is foreshortened by approximately 50%. An ESG was successfully created with full thickness tissue acquisition using the mixed tooth grasping forceps. The patient experienced typical post-ESG symptoms of mild nausea and cramping without abdominal pain that improved over two to three days. The patient was advanced through a standard post-procedural diet to facilitate healing of the stomach. She was followed for medical and nutritional support. There were no serious adverse events. At six months, total body weight loss was 22%. Excess weight loss was 98%. BMI was 25.8. A1C decreased from 6.2% to 5.6%. Total cholesterol decreased from 166 to 140 milligrams per deciliter. Routine upper endoscopy is performed at six months to assess ESG integrity. Routine endoscopy performed at six months reveals an intact endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty with a tubular gastric lumen and reduced extensibility at maximal insufflation. The suture line is completely intact and without visible suture material. As a promising alternative to the tissue helix, a mixed tooth grasper offers several advantages in terms of safety, recovery, and efficiency. The grasper minimizes the risk of full thickness tissue injury. Patients have less post-procedural pain. Greater tissue purchase and acquisition due to a wider surface and ability to apply a greater force, permitting a tighter and gap-free sleeve. Improved engagement and disengagement with gastric tissue compared to the inefficient helix winding and unwinding. 